Hey everybody, this is Holly Skatsum, Digital Learning Coordinator here in Bloomington Public Schools. Today we're going to take a quick peek at how you would check your child's Chromebook history. When your child logs into their Chromebook, you're going to see a similar screen. And if you go down to the bottom left, there's a Google Chrome icon. You're going to go ahead and click that icon and then head up to the top right screen. So up in the top right, you'll see three dots. You're going to click that and the fourth option down is history. So as soon as I hover over history I can see recently closed tabs but if I go ahead and click on the actual history tab I can take a closer look at what my child's been doing on the Chromebook. So as a parent what do you want to be looking for? You really want to see is my child using the tools that the, that the district is supporting. So right away some of those are going to be your Google tools. So you may see Gmail, Google Forms, Google Drive, Google Drawings, Google Docs, Google Presentation. Those are all things you should be seeing in your child's history. Teachers are going to be using websites. What, so what might be some of those websites? Khan Academy for math practice, Macinvia for ebooks, Typing Club for keyboarding practice, Extra Math for math fact practice, Raz Kids, Brain Pop. Lots of these different tools might be found in your child's history. YouTube gets a little fuzzy, but the nice thing is, is it always tells you the title of the video. So if you see adding mixed numbers, that's probably a safe bet that that was a assigned video by a teacher. A child can click different items and remove those selected items. They can also clear their browsing data. So to the child, it'll look like they cleared their history. However, when they log out of their Chromebook and log back in, this history will reappear. So you can rest assured that we do have access to what your child's doing on their Chromebook at all times. If they erase it, it will come back. And we have talked about expectations with students through our elementary boot camp about history. Students know that if they clear their history, that's a sign that we need to check into what they're doing a little bit closer. Hopefully this was helpful. Let us know if you have questions or talk to your building media director for, for more support or ideas. Thank you.